Before I get into this, I want to reiterate that I have no skin in the game when it comes to the console wars. I don't own either PlayStation 5 or Xbox. I am primarily a PC gamer. I am focused on PC gaming. So really, I have no skin in the game. It, I don't really, not really that interested in having a PS5 or Xbox Series X. I mean, some, some of the stuff that's coming that I saw in the um, PlayStation Showcase recently looked interesting. Some of it's coming to PC. Uh, some of it that's not, um, it looked really good. It did. A lot of the stuff on there looked really good. And I may do another video later commenting about it. But I saw a lot of the PlayStation VR 2 stuff. And I know that Sony is really doubling down on VR. VR was really, uh, really successful on PlayStation 4. And now they've got the PSVR 2. It hasn't sold as well as they would have liked. I think it's because the price is really high. Also, there just hasn't been any software. The other problem is that it was not backward compatible with existing PSVR games. Which, that could probably be solved using a AI translation layer. That could probably be solved with that. Sony could probably make that happen but it would take some engineering to get that to work uh, on their part. They might have to get the developers of the original games involved to make that happen, but it's, it's doable. It's doable. Maybe it's, maybe it's something that they could release in an update later that makes it, makes them compatible. I don't know, but uh, this is not about PlayStation. This is about Xbox. Now, Xbox has had some troubles lately with games launching that have been a disappointment. Redfall, I was really interested in Redfall. It, Redfall looked really fascinating. It was from a developer that I'm um, conscious of, aware of, that I liked their work in the past, and... Uh, has been something of a disappointment and then there was the the failure of not complete failure but a very public failure of halo infinite with that and just just a, a series of series of mistakes and mismanagements on Microsoft's part, or should I say Phil Spencer's part, that has been dragging that platform down. And I think one of the biggest uh, goofs that he's made is not bringing VR to Xbox. Now, when Microsoft has had the Windows Mixed Reality platform, which they're now giving up on, because they haven't been able to get anyone to make anything for their Windows Store. They just, they wanted to try and keep everybody locked into that walled garden of the Windows Store, and no one was doing it. And it's a great VR um, platform. I have a Samsung Odyssey, which is a really good quality headset, OLED displays, great audio, uh, it hooks up very simply, it just has HDMI and USB 3. The controllers connect via Bluetooth. The tracking was not terrible. I used to play No Man's Sky VR with it. You know, it, it, it worked pretty good. It wasn't bad. I played um, Minecraft in VR with it. That worked incredibly well. The, that was a native Windows application version of Minecraft, but it worked really good. And you can play Steam VR games with a mic Windows Mixed Reality headset. And you can get different ones from different manufacturers that are at different price points. Like Acer has one that's cheaper than, say, the, the, the more premium one that I have that's from Samsung. But uh, the tracking is 
maybe not as good as what's on the Quest 2, but it's good enough. And maybe they could make some improvements. They could, you know, make some improvements. Because uh, there is the um, that other headset, other Windows Mixed Reality headset that's from, that's from HP that came out. So it could make some improvements there. And then bring that over to Xbox and do Xbox Mixed Reality. So they could have augmented reality games for Xbox or full VR games for Xbox. I mean, imagine being able to play Skyrim VR on your Xbox Series X. Or imagine Halo Infinite in VR. Or, uh, or Starfield in VR. You know, Snowman Sky in VR on Xbox. Uh, the possibilities are endless, and a, a lot of companies could be. They could. They could draw a lot of developers over to the Xbox side and, to make games. I mean, Capcom is making a VR mode for Resident Evil Four, but um, I think it's a wasted opportunity. Phil, Phil, Phil Spencer has been wasting a lot of opportunities with Xbox. He's 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 he's, he's mismanaged the platform a lot. I'm, I'm I'm surprised they haven't replaced Microsoft hasn't replaced him as the chief of Xbox for some time now. I'm surprised they have not replaced him because I think he's really mismanaged things over on that side. And a lot of his comments recently, saying Xbox, and in saying that Xbox really can't compete, and all that, I think he's really just. I I I, I think he needs to be replaced, and I think that not bringing VR to Xbox has been a hugely missed opportunity. It probably won't bring a massive number of people over to the platform. But it would spur on new development. It would uh, get to get studios to think of new interesting ideas. It, it, it would open up a possibility for a lot of interesting new games and experiences. Which would likely end up on other platforms other than Xbox. It would end up on PC or it would end up on PlayStation five or it would end up on uh on quest 2 and not on xbox and xbox needs way more interesting compelling experiences and it's not getting them but again as i said i have no skin in the game in the console wars i don't own either system so i am not invested in in them i just looking at this and i go why don't they have this? Why didn't they get into this? I mean, VR is not a fad. VR is here to stay. VR is still growing. It's it's still very much in its early days. This sort of technology is something that's going to develop over decades and it's going to just get better and better. There's a new VR headset that's basically like a pair of glasses it almost looks like Jordy's headband that you got on and it conforms to your face and it's really light and it's uh, it's expensive as shit because you have to get um your face scanned for the details of your face and you have to get your prescription let them know what your lens prescription needs to be but it's evolving fast. VR is evolving fast, and it's a billion-dollar industry. Meta, with the quest of former company formerly known as Facebook, they dominate the VR industry with the Quest 2. Uh, there are standalone VR competitors to the Quest 2 coming, including one that is rumored coming from Valve themselves, which will uh, support PSVR games. Uh, there's PSVR, 
which is great. I've been I'm doing a video series on games on uh, on Steam VR games. I'm playing Into the Radius, which is a great game. And that's on Quest 2 as well. And Sony Sony has seen a lot of success with their VR platform. So on the PlayStation. So Microsoft not embracing that on Xbox is just I don't understand it. I really don't. And they had an opportunity to use a VR platform that really wasn't getting much traction on Windows and adapt it to Xbox. And they failed to do that. Anyway, I've been Mike DeZorch. This has been my sort of, I wouldn't say rant, sort of my observation that they dropped the ball when it comes to this. Especially Phil Spencer has dropped the ball on this. And I'm surprised he hasn't been replaced yet at Xbox. Very, very surprised. I think they still should adopt a VR for Xbox. I really think they should. Because it would help to differentiate them. And it would open up the door to a lot of gameplay innovation on that platform. Which they're not getting any other way. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Are you tired of reading articles written by activists pretending to be video game journalists? Well, so are we. Visit www.zorkcentral.com for weekly blogs about video games. Just video game journalism the way it was meant to be, not lectures. Visit www.zorkcentral.com.